Just need to supply enough weapons to arm an entire uprising. And where will we get these weapons? From one of our many friends and allies? A gunsmith in Finkton. Should be a walk in the park. What do you say? Partners? You're a liar, Mr. DeWitt. And a thug. But you're also my only means of reaching Paris. <laughs> Too comfortable with my company, oh, Mr. Dewey. Some of the folks just are. You are a means to an end. No more fake industries. But I tell you, there's a purpose. You're a gunsmith. Who sent you to find this person? She's either a great hero or the worst of scoundrels, depending on who's doing the time. She's good for an airship. I don't care if she's the Queen of Holland. Welcome to Fake Industries Recruitment. We are not looking for any help. You hear that? How are we going to... Elizabeth? The hyena is a trickster. They Done. Over there. Beware the service the hyena. They will leave you with none but the And get ourselves killed in the bargain.
man. You work hard, and I know he'll reward you. On it. There you go. Slate's locker. He must have worked here. Uh, this is my mother's diary. Why would Slate have it? My husband claims the child was created from whole cloth by divine will. I am a believer, but I am not a fool. This bastard shall not be raised under this roof. My mother. She had me locked in that tower. Elizabeth. I just want to get out of this city. Please. Greetings. My name is Jeremiah Fick. And I want to share with you my personal creed. What is the most admirable creature on God's green earth? Why, it's the bee! Have you ever seen a bee on vacation? Have you ever seen a bee take a sick day? Well, my friends, the answer is no. So I say, be the bee! Be the bee! Mr. DeWitt? Uh, yes. Hold for Mr. Fink, please. What's going on? DeWitt, Fink here. Listen, my boy, we've had our eye on you, and I can tell you right now that you are our top candidate. Top! <laughs> now, uh, my associate, Mr. Flambeau, will help you with anything you need. <laughs> what the hell was that? I have no idea. He seems oddly pleased to make your acquaintance. Oh, the man's got an ego. Welcome to Finkton. 
You'll find a variety of supplies here that should see you through your visit. What does Mr. Fink want with us? Excuse me, miss, but Mr. Fink's interest is strictly in the gentleman. But why... So sorry, young miss, but any questions regarding the gentleman's application should be taken up with Mr. Fink directly. Fifteen minutes now, bid fourteen. Will you give me fourteen? Ten. Ten minutes bid, now ten. Will you give me nine? Nine. I bid nine. Nine. Bid, not nine. Will you give me eight? The moment you do, you will see what those hyenas are made of. I ask you, where are they going to be when it's cold outside? And your boy's got the mouse, and you've got nothing else. <laughs> Showtime. Come back at showtime! Guess we should come back later. Buddha. Who? The founder of Buddhism. Spent 49 days under a Bodhi tree until he 
achieved enlightenment. Well, someone tells me Comstock doesn't cater to idols getting worship that ain't him. Hello? Hello? Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Is anybody here? What happened here? Someone worked this place over. Local constabulary, no doubt. <laughs> Do you hear that? There's someone downstairs. Excuse me. Ma'am, I'm sorry to bother you. We're looking for Mr. Lin. Mr. Chen Lin. Booker. Mr. Lin, not here. He gone. Gone? They take flying squad. I pray, Gautama Buddha. Pray, give husband back. Give back to Melin. Where did they take him? Club. Everyone take to good time club. Where is this club? <laughs> Ma'am, please, where, where is this club? Booker, we'll find it. Just leave her be. Why not Fox Bully help Chen Lin? Why not Daisy Fitzroy help Chen Lin? <laughs> Cops. The kind who probably got their boot on Lin's throat asking him how well he knows Daisy Fitzroy. Isn't she the one we're working for? As a matter of fact, it is. Let's figure out where this good time... song before. I don't suspect anyone's heard that song. I'm sorry about what I said at the docks. I'm calling you a thug. Yeah. Can't see how I might have changed your sense of that. You protected me. Job's a job. Mr. Lynn. <laughs> Frank 
Honestly, my money's on you. He's something of an old hand at handling explosives. Only man I know who hasn't <laughs> lost a limb working with them. <laughs> Yet. Fireman Booker. Thank you.